Hi folks, it's Nye, and I'm going to show you how to take an Unreal project and put it on Git. So Git or GitHub is a place to keep repositories of code. You can create repositories where you can keep your code in this and you can share this with the uh, people that you're collaborating with or whatnot. Uh, we usually use something like Perforce, which is a, um, uh, a centralized organization, a, a server. But uh, using Git and GitHub, you can then put it up on your profile and then share with your teams. In order to use Unreal, you're going to need to use what's called LFS. So if you go into your settings and you look under billing and plans, uh, you'll see down here Git LFS data. So LFS stands for large file system. You'll see that you get a, a gigabyte with your basic plan in GitHub. You can add more data here. I believe it's like five bucks a month. So you'll probably rapidly run out of data uh, on your plan um, because Unreal has a lot of very, very large sizes. But um, this is a really fast way for you for four bucks a month, five bucks a month to be able to develop projects. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my profile here and I'm gonna create a new repository that I wanna keep an Unreal project on. So I'm gonna say new right here, it's our new repository. And I'm gonna say Unreal um, test. And then you can say description here, you know, test project for Unreal. Uh, I'm going to keep it pu public, but of course you can keep it private. You can invite uh, people to collaborate on it, and I'll populate it with a um, README. And um, I can also choose like a license like Apache or MIT if I want to share it open source, which I highly encourage if you're using it for um, educational reasons. So go ahead and compete, create this repository. So now I've got an Unreal test. Now I need to create a, um, an Unreal project and then populate it and then push it here. So in order for me to do that, I'm gonna need Git for Windows. So if you type in gitforwindows.org, you can download this. This is a whole suite of Git that, we can, uh, that, that I'm gonna be using to be able to uh, make a project. And then you're also gonna need Git um, LFS. I believe Git LFS comes with Git for Windows, but if it doesn't, you can go ahead and download it here. So you'll need those two um, pieces of software installed on your machine first, and you, it's just a matter of downloading it and then extracting it and installing it. So once you do that, you have what's called Git Bash. Git Bash is sort of a command prompt uh, environment that allows you to navigate um, various things. So um, I have a drive on my, so I say CDE. I changed lot, um, directories. So I said change directory, CD, and then E colon, I changed to my E drive. I can say LS to list all of my projects. And then I'm going to say, you know, um, CD projects. If I do tab, let me do, if I do product, uh, once it understands what I'm writing and I say tab, it will auto complete. So CD projects. Right now, if I list, you'll see all the projects that I'm working on. So uh, within this, I can also go to um, uh, E projects. Uh, these are all the different things in here. I can go and create a new folder and say, you know, uh, Unreal Test. And another thing that you can do that that's really useful is once you have your folder set up, you can say uh, Git Bash here. Right. So now I've set my path directly to that. So um, this is I'm now existing in this thing within the command shell, which is important. So to start with, I want to clone what's called clone a repository. So you'll see in my in GitHub, uh, here's the Unreal test on my code. I will then copy this, and I'm going to go here and I'm going to say git clone, and then I will copy, right click, paste. This is now the path. You'll see uh, GitHub, NyGuy, Unreal Test, Git. So it's now cloning into Unreal Test. If I go in here, you'll see here Unreal Test has been populated with just the README. Great. So I've now effectively pulled what's called pull from this repository. Okay. So now that I've done this, I'm also going to need, um, I, uh, I need to do what's called git init. Actually, let me list, you'll see that Unreal Test is in there, so it's a CD Unreal Test. And you'll see an Unreal Test, it says main. You want it to say main. If it doesn't say main, that's not good. It's basically, it says that um, Git has been installed into this folder, right? So Git is operational in here, and we can pull for it. These are all good signs. 
Okay, in order to do that, we also need uh, Git LFS. Okay. So you can download it, but if not, we'll install it directly into this. I'm just gonna copy this. I got this git-lfs.github.com. So I'll take this install and then I'll uh, paste it here. Git LFS install. Boom, updated Git hooks. Git LFS has been initialized. That's great. So now I've, I've connected this particular uh, folder with Git LFS. Um, now I need to start tracking files. So the way that Git LFS works is that it doesn't actually upload the file. It, it creates a relationship with the local file. So if you have a large file that's over 100 megabytes, it doesn't upload it, it, it forms a connection to it. So if you're gonna use uh, Git LFS, you should keep your hierarchy, um, at least locally, the same, and then share it uh, for the course of the project. Otherwise, it can cause problems. So I'm gonna say, just I'm just gonna copy this just to set up my Git attributes. So I'm gonna say copy, and I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna paste. So I'm going to say git lfs track psd. I'm going to do that. And when I look into this folder, you'll see that there's a git attributes here. I can say git add uh, attributes. This, this just makes sure that it's tracked. So I may as well just do it just to, for the sake of uh, demonstration. Paste. Um, paste. Oops. Let me do that one more time. Boom. Copy. Paste. Git add add attributes. Right, it's there. So if I open this up, you'll see that it says PSD filter, right? It's saying, hey, I wanna remove, and I don't wanna remove, I wanna form a, I wanna track anything that's a PSD file. So um, the easy way to do this is to say, um, uh, git lfs unreal. And um, right here, you know, there's plenty of people who recommend what files you should track. So I'm just gonna use this guys right here. So I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and open up my, uh, this and paste it right in here. So in my dot git attributes, I'm gonna say save. So basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna track FBX, 3DS, PSD, PNG, all these really large files, especially U assets, which are Unreal files. It's gonna track them. So when we sync with our repository, it doesn't actually put the gigabytes of information, it just forms relationships with them, all right? So now we've got the gate attributes set up and we've got the LFS set up. That's great. Now we can populate this with the Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna go to Unreal and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new game. And I'm just gonna use the third person template to start with. I'm gonna say next. And then I'm gonna go find that folder that I'm currently using. So I'll go ahead and copy uh, this. And I'll say Unreal Test. Okay, so this is exactly where I wanna be. Uh, Unreal Test. I'm going to copy and I'm going to select this folder. And then I'm just going to say Unreal Test for the Unreal file itself. And I'm going to create a project. And then it's going to take a second to do this. Uh, so I'll probably blah, blah, blah. Now while we're waiting for Unreal to populate, while I'm in here, I'm also going to say Git Status. So you'll see right now what's happening is in red, um, Git attributes and an Unreal test have are red. That means um, this has not been synced to the repository. Remember, the final goal is to sync with the repository in the cloud, okay? So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to add the files. Once Unreal has been populated, we're gonna need to add the files, and then we're gonna need to commit the files, and then we're gonna need to push the files, okay? So, um, Let's go back to Unreal and see where we are in this thing. Okay, so it's still launching. It's taking its its sweet time. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so while I'm doing that, I may as well um, uh, sort of talk a little bit about what the power of Git is as opposed to Perforce. So there's a number of projects that you can utilize and download directly. So if I, for example, look for Blender, uh, Blender. So downloads, right? So Blender is completely open source, right? So we can go to the GitHub repository and download Blender. The same with uh, the Godot engine, which is uh, uh, GitHub, right? We can go directly to the Go Godot engine. We can download the entire uh, code base. We can do something and we can push it right back up to it. So this is um, part of the, the amazing thing about Git is that you can contribute with a global community as opposed to a localized one. 
And so by understanding how to use Git LFS and Git, you can work with these, uh, these all these kinds of amazing pieces of software, machine learning software, AI, whatever's out there, uh, and be able to do stuff with it. Okay, so let me say okay here. And um, Unreal is still thinking about it. And we get to that particular point. So I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna close this, and I'll close these guys as well. Once this is done, this is just an empty template. I don't know why it's taking forever, but um, that's the joy of Unreal, I guess. Okay, so looks like we're there. Okay, so this is your, your basic uh, Unreal project. Great, not a problem. We all know how to do this. It's now been saved and constructed. Here is the folder. You'll see Unreal test. There's a full Unreal project, all the config files, et cetera, et cetera. That's great. So let's go back to Git Bash, and I'm gonna say Git status. Oops, let's say git status. Okay, so you'll see, like we said before, hey, the git attributes and the git and the Unreal test are, are, are red. So what I wanna do is I wanna say git add dot. That means I'm gonna add everything that's in this folder. You'll notice my path, project, Unreal test, Unreal test, main, git add all. Now it's gonna take a second because it has to add all of that Unreal project and all of these things that we've changed which isn't much, but um, it will take a second or two. And then once it's done this, we're gonna need to move to the next level, which is commit, which means we're gonna stage these files for committing and pushing. And this should take a minute. So if you're freaking out that this takes a minute, that's fine, give it a second. Blah, blah, blah. There we go, okay, so uh, LF, uh, will be placed by CLF Unreal Test Logs. Okay, so that means there's there are some files that are just gonna be tagged as large files, but everything else that we had in the attributes file, like uh, Unreal Assets and Maps and FBXs and things like that have been now um, staged correctly. So we have added this to locally to our Git. What I wanna do is I wanna say a git commit flag or dash M, and within quotes, I'm going to say, uh, populating GitHub repo with basic Unreal template. You wanna have some sort of indicative um, note to show what you're committing. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that, or commit that, I'm sorry. So it's committing that, now it's made a mode for all of these. Now I'm ready to push to um, the repository. So I'm gonna say git push, boom. Now it should give me a percentage should say, okay, I'm uploading all the LFS objects, which are all those objects that need to go up in the repository to be able to maintain the file structure. So it's pushing, it's pushing, it's pushing. So it's only going 2.7 um, megabytes per second. Uh, it's, so it's, you know, you can see it's three out of 316. Uh, and what you should get at the end of that is that this repository, there's one that I made, let's see if I can find an Unreal test, it's being pushed right here, right now. So none of it is showing right now because I've only got 3%, but I'm willing to bet that in a very short time, it's going to start saying um, the whole thing. Now, uh, in GitHub size, right, like you can go into settings and you can say manage access and I'm gonna confirm my password. And make sure you get your password right. Uh, Oh man, here we go, Whew. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> so now uh, the collaborators, right? So if we go to manage access and we collaborate, you can invite a collaborator. So if there's someone on your team, you can write them by email or if they have a GitHub account, you can, and you guys can collaborate. Another thing you can possibly do here, um, you can also create organizations or you can also create groups. So an organization is a good thing to do. So, you know, I do this for animation scripting for games. This is organization that I can get people. That means I can have multiple projects that people can collaborate on. So this gives you a way to be able to police who can do what on what particular project. And it allows you to create um, the opportunity to be outward facing for the project itself. All right, so it's still uploading objects at 63%. 
I'll hang out just long enough to be able to get that whole thing up. I'm going to go back into repositories and Unreal Test. Uh, and once you've got this populated, you can also go to code, and then here is your um, your path. So if you've given the person access to it, you, they can go to this particular path, they can copy this, and then they can go to their git bash, and then they can find where they want locally to save their file and say git clone, and clone your um, repository. And if they have LFS installed correctly and you've set all of the permissions correctly, you should be free to collaborate and interact with it. Um, and then the last thing I might show you here is in source control, if you say connect to source control, you'll see that the provider here, you have subversion, a plastic perforce, and then you've got git. So if you do git, you'll see that it says git path. This is the path to your executable that actually runs git itself. And then the root of the repository, so it's already auto-populated, um, projects, Unreal, test, Unreal. And then my username and my email, eh, I'm not going to show this on the internet, I guess. Um, but essentially, once you do that, it accepts um, settings and allows you to um, sync source control into there. So now you'll see source control is now successful. That means if I do anything in here, so if I go here and I say, you know what, I want to do something in the third person map, I can say um, refresh or I can check out, um, and I can work within within the Unreal environment. And if there's problems specifically, I can go back into Git Bash, and I can say Git Add or Git Status to be able to check the status of how it syncs. But for the most part, source control should be ready to go, and you should be able to collaborate. So how are we how are we doing on this this up? I mean, this is the problem is Unreal is so huge, uh, and it has so much garbage in it that um, it takes forever to upload. But we're now at 619, 20, 30 megabytes with an empty um, project. So, you know, keep in mind that you could very easily get to a gigabyte of information very quickly if we, if we decide to use Unreal. Um, and that's something to keep in mind. So 87, 89, 93, 95. And... Let's see if I even refresh it now. Nope, not yet. 100%. So those are the LFS objects. I think it probably has to do the rest of the object. Okay, so now it's writing the rest of the objects. Total, there we go. So let's take a look to see where we are at. Boom, and now we have the Unreal test up. All the config files, the UID, we've, we've mapped directly, locally. So here, the Unreal test, the Git attributes, everything has been set up, and we have Git um, LFS. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you're able to uh, do this on Git. Again, it's a very powerful thing that you can utilize to be able to um, share projects. Uh, and good luck. All right. Thanks a lot.